All right, so I got a pile of a few things going on here. Talk about the stairs real quick first, and we'll get to this other stuff. Put together, it's a nice little piece. I was considering getting some brass rod or aluminum tube and uh, replacing the legs, but we'll see how strong these are. Replicating this would be pretty easy if you do want to do that with uh, metal. Here's the one spare leg. So it's just a matter of getting the diameter you want here, get another piece to essentially sleeve over that, which I don't think I have any two pieces that do fit directly into each other. But I'm sure you get the idea. Just get the next size up. And then for this detail here, there's uh, basically this can be replicated by getting some wire and wrapping it around the end. Then you get a couple pieces of styrene or another piece of metal and simply match that angle. So that's something I might do in the future, but that's basically the process that that would go through to do this. And it wouldn't be too, too difficult to even drill the holes in the sides as shown there. The hinge would be the difficult part, but again, you could just get another piece of brass tube of the appropriate diameter and glue it on or weld it perpendicular to your metal version. So... For the construction though, it does have to go on in a particular order. I haven't checked the directions lately, but uh, it's definitely good to read through those. So once you get these couple pieces set, that one locks the leg in. Then it's just a matter of tacking some glue along the back sides here. Then have some handy clamps around to really keep them tight. Even if you use super glue, you want to leave that for a long while to really let the pieces bond. That's pretty much it for the legs though. There is a little trick to them and uh, I probably should have primered this again before I put it all together. but. I think just spraying it like this shouldn't be too much of a problem. This was a test pass on the silver. I think this was the Rust-Oleum. And uh, I might try one of the Alclad lacquers. Uh, basically, I'll have to prime this again to get rid of that. But it's cool little pieces, and there is a trick to getting this to fit into the hull later on that I'll cover at that point. The feet are slotted onto the legs. Uh, I guess I didn't glue that one together either. There we go. So they fit on nice and you don't even have to glue those at all. Which is a nice little thing. Whether you wanted to make some bottoms for it, just trace some styrene, cut it down a little, fit it in there. So that's it for the legs. Those go together really nice. And this one here is pretty much done and assembled, so keep the leg from flying around and just tape that off nice and safe and then I'll do that for the others when I glue those and here's just a quick shot of the leg all clamped up I decided to glue it together after all and I'm just taping this one closed now so this is about 20 or 30 seconds old with the glue and uh, basically I just laid in one wall, got the foot in place, laid in the other, clamped them tight and fast. I'm going to leave that for 10 or 20 minutes or so. And I may even run a little bit of glue along the edges on the back here because uh, it's not really going to be visible. It still has to be primed. And uh, any details that are lost are, should be fairly negligible. I mean, the only time you'd see a detail like this is if you're, if and rather when, you're going to be flying it around the apartment. Enjoying the adventures of your Lost in Space pals there. But, back to this piece here.
and of course something really important to note do not glue the hinge here so you can't rotate the leg be very careful when you're putting the glue down on the inside basically when I did that I glued the outer leg there left the foot this foot alone once I put this piece on and those were two were sealed I dripped a little bit of glue back there just a little dab and uh, rotate the piece as well if you think there may be some glue going as long as it doesn't set you are set once it does though you're gonna have to snap it and that's gonna break a lot of the integrity of the the uh, legs overall in your display so something really important to keep in mind and it's also a good reason to go with a metal version of this I may build a single one before the end of the uh, program we'll see just to at least show you how it would be done I will not be doing that anytime I'll leave this here with this I guess but I won't be doing that anytime soon